Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our very first live assembly from the Warrender household uh, with Medical Mavericks. Uh, if you don't know me, I am Tom. I'm the head honcho of inspiration at Medical Mavericks. And this young lady here, my glamorous assistant, is my daughter Beatrice. Say hello to everyone, Beatrice. Hi. And we're gonna be running some amazing demos on our cardiovascular system today. Um, and that's gonna involve looking at our heart and looking at our blood vessels in our neck and our arms and our inside our abdomen as well. Um, where do you think you've got a pulse? So you should have been thinking about that. Where have you got a pulse in your body? Where do you think you've got a pulse, B? Um, your heart. You got, yeah, your heart is your main pulse, definitely, yes. Anywhere else, where can we check for a pulse? Where do you think? Um, Yeah, good stuff, so that's one place. I'm gonna go from head to toe where you can check a pulse. So the best two fingers to use are kind of these two fingers, okay? Don't use your thumb and finger if you can, if you can. use these two. And we go from head to toe, so sometimes you can feel a pulse in your temples, okay? You have to sit very still to find those ones, just in there, okay? Um, you've got one in your neck, either side, in here. This is your carotid artery, and we're gonna have a look at this a bit later on, okay? Just by where your trachea comes down, just to the back, just inside there. Um, just along your elbow here, you can feel a pulse sometimes. Just kind of along that lump just there, okay? You've got two in your wrist. You've got one kind of just on the top here, your radial artery on your radius. And you've got one quite deep, just kind of in there. So you've got one around this side, and you've got one down this side. It's quite deep, you can't really feel that one very well, but there is a pulse down there as well. Then moving down your body, I'm going to stand up, okay, because you've got femoral arteries in your groin, just down there, okay, you've got one either side, and then you've got one behind each knee, on the back of your knee, can we see that on my, if I stand up on the chair, kind of just about there, in this kind of area, you've got a pulse as well, and then you can also find a, a pulse on top of your foot, and behind the inside of your ankle, so just about, putting my foot on the table, you ready B? My foot on the table. So kind of just on the inside along there, you get a pulse, and just on the top there. So those are all of your pulse points, okay? So what, what about listening to a pulse? Some of you may have seen this last year when we went on MedicFest, okay? So Beatrice, can we have a listen to your pulse? I need this arm, please, if possible. So we have to put some gel on there like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this, this, called a, this is called a pulse Doppler and it uses um, ultrasound to, ultrasound waves, these are sound waves that we can't hear, so this is on now and I can't hear anything out of the end of the, the device there, okay, but it's sending sound waves that are way above our hearing frequency and I'm going to pop this onto Beatrice's arm and hopefully we'll be able to hear her pulse. It kind of goes whoop 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 Can you do that, B? Whoop 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 Yeah, very good, okay. So that kind of three sounds you could hear is called a triphasic pulse. And it's three sounds, tri means three. And those three sounds, the first one was the blood speeding up and going through your blood vessel. And then when your heart relaxes, the blood goes backwards just very slightly so it goes the wrong way. And then your arteries kind of squeeze back and recoil because they've been stretched and it pushes the blood along again and creates that third sound. So your blood kind of goes whoop, 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 Okay, now if you've got kind of poor blood vessels and they're kind of a bit more stiff and rigid, so my granddad last year, sadly he passed away, but he was 103. And when we did this on my granddad, his arteries sounded very different because his arteries were 103 years old. So they were very, 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 very stretchy. Uh, so they weren't very, very, weren't very stretchy. So instead of having this kind of whoop, 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 whoop kind of sound, we had more of a whoop, whoop, 
what, 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 what. That's called a diphasic. And then if someone's really poorly and has really kind of hardened and stiffened arteries, the sound would be more like a what, what, what. There's one sound instead of the three. That's a really, really cool tool to use to actually listen to how your kind of arteries are pump, helping move blood around your body. Yeah. Right then, what we're going to do next, B? Um, let's look at your ECG. Okay. So we've looked at some blood vessels. We looked at the artery. Let's grab some tissue for my neck. Um, but if we want to look at the heart and how the heart works, we can record something called an ECG. And these are the electrical signals from your heart. These are the wavy lines that kind of go beep, beep, beep. And if it goes beep, you're dead. Okay, so I hope, obviously Beatrice isn't dead here, okay. But we're gonna pop some stickers. Can we see these here? Can I just grab that off you, Beatrice? There we go, that's lovely stuff, okay. So, we've got these little electrodes here that we're gonna stick on Beatrice on. Can you put your arms out for me on the table, Beatrice? I have to put them on in a certain order. Okay, now some of you may have had one of these done in a hospital before. Um, and you may have had lots of stickers put on your chest as well. This is that's called a 12 lead ECG, okay? And a 12 lead ECG produces 12 different kind of graphs, little wavy lines, okay? But you only have about 10 stickers on you. We're doing a three lead because we, get, we can get three different traces and we're gonna look at one specific one, okay? So I wanna bring this over to my, here we go. That's really nice, Beatrice. Let's start once more. Oops. So straight away I can tell that Beatrice is really excited to be here today doing this, okay? Um, and if we count, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heartbeats in five seconds. So that's kind of roughly, I don't know what, 70 odd beats a minute, 70 to 80 beats a minute, which is pretty normal, that's pretty good. And if I can uh, maybe zoom in on one of these heartbeats, let's do this one just here. Let's zoom in on this one. Let's see if we can do this with one hand, there we go. Let's zoom in. This actually means something. So this little bump just here, that little bump there was Beatrice's pacemaker firing telling her heart to beat, uh, and that's called your P wave. And then this big spike here, we've got, this is called your QRS. So all these points have got a, uh, named after letters, so we go QRS. And that's basically Beatrice's ventricles contracting, the electrical signal that made Beatrice's heart contract. And then over here we've got, this is her, this is her T wave over this section just here. And that was our heart resetting itself electrically. It's getting ready for the next beat. So if we start from this point here, going to the end one, we're just going through the alphabet. So we go P, Q, R, S, and then T at the very end. That's a perfectly lovely ECG, Beatrice. Your heart is working lovely just there, okay. So what if we wanted to have a look at our heart? Well, that's where we use the ultrasound machine again, and we'd use this curved probe instead of the flat one I just used. I want to do this one on myself. It's a little bit awkward to use, so I'm gonna do this one on myself, okay? So hopefully you're gonna see my heart. So I know I only just met you all, but here's my heart, okay? So you should be able to see, this image is actually upside down. So this is the, the bottom of my heart, and this is the top. So these two big black areas are the chambers of my heart, the, the ventricles, the two main ventricles of my heart. Well, hello Isaac, in Church Lane and Daisy in Wordsley. So you can see the heart fluttering around there. So this middle section just here, if I just do it this way, this big thick white line, that is the septum that separates the left and right sides of the heart. This is the, the tip of the heart, the apex. This is the top down here. If you look very carefully, you can actually see the valves flickering in the middle there. Okay, and if we scroll up a little bit more, if you look just here, there's like a little white line that kind of right in the middle there. Okay, and that little white line are, are little strings of tendon. 
and they're called chordae tendinae. They're little strings that stop the valves from being flipped and inverted. 